This is Barry Wood in Hamburg on the Elbe River near the North Sea. My report on what happened here in Hamburg over the last two days is exceedingly positive. First of all, I think uh, Angela Merkel, the German Chancellor, is really to be commended for the topics that she chose and for really getting into the element that had not been much present in the previous meeting since this group was formed in 2008, and that is it's a social club. So spouses were here. They went to this stunning presentation at the new opera house in Hamburg, Beethoven's Ninth Symphony, not surprisingly. But to have the spouses here, I think, gives a kind of atmosphere in which you don't insult people. You're not rude. You don't walk out of meetings unless you have something else going on. But the real benefit of this kind of forum is the bilateral meetings that take place. The Chinese leader was meeting literally everybody for two days. That was true also of the Indian leader, the Russian leader, the Turkish leader, the Saudi, and of course the Europeans who meet all the time anyway. Donald Trump did not make a scene here. He was at his best behavior, I suppose. And certainly uh, the Argentine president was popular. He will host next year's summit and the one after that will be in Japan. But it is the bilateral meetings, talks about investment, trade, and the environment and climate that really dominated here. Expectations were that it would be difficult, that there would be problems over climate and trade. That was all papered over in the end. So people went away happy. And I think uh, Chancellor Merkel will be looked at ex post facto as having conducted the best of the G20 summits in terms of actually getting things done and making people feel good about what happened here. In the past, there's been too much emphasis on ceremony, and there's still probably too much of that, and not enough on real discussions. But again, the real discussions often are in the corridors and the private meeting rooms, not in the formal sessions. I've been at probably 20 of these going back to 1980, and I find this one probably the, the most beneficial and the most productive in terms of making the world safer. After all, it's exceedingly important for leaders, even if they disagree with one another strongly, to get to know each other and understand how that person 